Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here and I am back and I'm going to show you some artwork that I DIY and um, I know I know y'all didn't see me yesterday. If my um, jaw looks a little puffy, I'm still um, having the effects of numbness from, my, from having my tooth extracted out. I will get into a video about that so stay tuned for that after this video. But I'm here to show y'all some artwork that I have done for my guest bathroom. Mommy is re is doing her guest bathroom. And um, I am very excited about that. So let's get started. So the first canvas I'm going to show you is a 12. I think it's a 12 by 11 or 12 by 12. And I got this at Walmart. Um... I, uh, no, I didn't get this canvas from Walmart. My sister, where she used to used to work at, has canvases, and my sister brought me one. And I just thought, oh my god, I'm gonna, I got, I want to do something cool for my guest bathroom. So I, um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the walls because that's something I do want to kind of change up a little bit. So I'm looking for the perfect uh, peeling stick. Um, um, and stencils to go on there. Wallpaper, excuse me. Wallpaper to go on there. So we're going to be looking for that. So I like, I'm going to do something cool. I'm going to do something cool. And things. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. And with this canvas, I end up using a, um, a shimmery pink. I can't. A shimmery pink, a pastel pink, um, a dark purple, and a lavender. And you can kind of say it's, it looks kind of abstract, but it's not. And what I end up doing to this is so pretty and thing. So, yeah. So, what I, it looks sort of kind of like, um, I haven't shown my mom yet. But I also did a piece for my mom called, um, that was inspired by a girl here on the tube, um, Tanisha, I hope I pronounced her name, Tanisha, um, and I will get, put her name at the bottom, but yeah, she inspired this video, um, one, uh, artwork, I'm, I, as soon as my mom get it put up, I will go and, um, film it for you and things so yeah and um it's i gotta say the big one sort of is almost like an ombre effect with glitter on it so let me show you here's the top let me go back and and there you go and yeah you can that is that with the beautiful, yeah, I could say it has this beautiful ombre effect and thing. I just thought, oh my god, my mom, I think it's pretty. Um, I might load it, I, I might um, take a picture of it and load it up to my Instagram, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook uh, thing. So, yeah, so the next one is a 8 by 11 canvas. And I uh, saw Tanisha, Tanisha, and she did this beautiful, and I will say, let me just say, beautiful artwork with using um, alcohol, um, alcohol paint. Now, I can't get my hands on alcohol paint. I went in, um, went to, let me say this, I actually went in walmart looking for that they did not have that so they must only have it on their walmart.com so i'm like how can i do how can i ooh, excuse me y'all how can i do this and i like all right i'm gonna pick up acrylic paint and i have alcohol at the house and i'm gonna try it my way so the paint i end up using is the Apple Barrel Lavender, I cannot, I, uh, I, it's, Lavender, it's something I'll 
put the names at the bottom of the uh, paint I use on the art um, on how on um, my DIY um, on my DIY um, alcohol painting. So here's this. This is the uh, lavender looking um, pastel looking color. So that's that. Okay, we have um, candy apple. That is this vibrant pink. Oh my god, love it. So to um, kind of break it up a little bit, I brought this. I brought the white. I also buy Apple Barrel. And the other color also by Apple Barrel is Wow Iris. Um, there we go. It's like a dark color. Oh my god, it's doing such a and then I went for um and those were fifty cent a piece. This one was about a dollar and forty nine cent and this is the Arc Folk Trusted Quality color effect acrylic paint acrylic paint excuse me y'all acrylic paint gloss finish um pink flash so it has this uh, sort of um uh, metallic there we go metallic no one i can um pronounce that word <laughs> metallic and it can be used in indoors or outdoors excuse me it says color effects different metallic colors it changes from a light a pink flash to a purple superb Yeah, and it says, um, let it, um, uh, put, let it dry for, um, two, um, hours between coats. Um, uh, I didn't have to do that with this, so let me let y'all see it. And I use alcohol. This is the, I decided, I already had a big bottle, so I end up using a big bottle. And the other thing you would need is a straw. You can buy a thing of straws. I had a lot of straws in the refrigerator that I had from last year. So, yeah. And here is the... Let me make sure I've got, got it on the right side. Yep. Yeah. And here is the... Let me hear. Here we go. And here is the finishing product right here. And this is just me doing my version of an alcohol art. And um, I just think it turned out beautiful. As you see, you have some of the white in it. And um, it just, it ended up turning out very beautiful. Um, Alright, and I will tell y'all this. With my method, you can do it any kind of way. This is just just my method of how I did. This is just my method and my method alone how I did my alcohol art with acrylic paint using alcohol. Now the way I did it at first, I used a bowl and it didn't turn out too well, so I just left what was on there on there and I just started. Squirting, I squirt a um, a good amount of paint all out of the tubes, and then I will eat lightly um, pour alcohol on it. Even though I pour a lot lightly, it's still like alcohol will come, uh, will run. Um, the alcohol will run, and you get a better technique with the um, squirting, pouring alcohol, and it's a better technique. Of doing that so if you like any of this artwork um, artwork or anything um, check the bottom of check the bottom the down bar to um, see what I all used um, for uh, for the acrylic art uh, piece um, and um, the other art piece as well until then I'm Alicia Burton don't forget to thumbs up this video comment below and subscribe